get them messed up, so I want to make sure like t the the compound is uh, Fred and, and another gym out there in Fairmont, and Outlaw is another gym. So I apologize for getting those a little bit confused, but it's hard to think and talk at the same time. I'm not the smartest guy in the world. We're doing an all right job so far, yeah, yeah. but I do think this is going to be a great fight. Obviously, Kayla comes from a great gym. Uh, Griffin's a hell of an athlete. Um, you know. I, I really don't know. I think on the ground, you know, I don't know much about the groundwork, but I think on the feet, guys, those guys are going to go crazy. It's going to be a tough fight. I know Griffin's been spending some time at uh, Art Suave, or Arte Suave, or I don't speak Portuguese, but you know what it is. Yeah. Under Chris McKinney. Yeah, Chris is a hell of a coach. Uh, all his people come out well trained, ready to fight. He's a heck of a motivator. So I look for Griffin to be really ready for this fight. And here we send Griffin's one of those guys. He's like a consummate competitor. Every time you talk to him, he's like, Jesus Christ, this dude's intense. He needs to take it down or not. <laughs> <laughs> I can see that. Hey, that's your hometown favorite here. Oh, yeah. Definitely a big crowd coming to see Mr. Crafty. It's the first time he's competed. I'm very interested to see, to see what he's got. He's coming from a very legit team. There's Fred there, his trainer. And he is walking out feeling good by Nina Simone, and I love it. That's class. I know this. Bill Crabtree is a man of class. He knows the view. I would have to agree. Listen to that crowd. Going nuts in here. Both of these individuals are very intense. Griffin's definitely the thicker looking of the two, which, you know, looks like he would be the stronger taking into the clinch. But that boy is thicker than the bowl of oatmeal. There you go. Griffin Key has not stopped moving since he set foot in that cage. But you know, when you've got a lot of muscle, it's more oxygen to feed that. You see these guys in the gap? Yeah, Griffin's got a style. I've seen him fight a few times. I've seen him train. He's very unorthodox. He's got a uh, kind of a karate type style where he's going to switch his stances a lot. I've seen that in his boxing matches, and it's hard for people to get used to. It. Well, that's the other thing is he's not just. And this crowd is going bananas right now for Caleb Crabtree. That's one thing. He's coming out in the South Pole stance. They do not touch gloves in this one. And low kick right out of the gate by Crabtree. This is an interesting matchup. Yeah, absolutely. Another low kick. Crabtree scoring points here early on. And another. Griffin's just measuring him, but sometimes, you know, it doesn't always go the best when you're letting things land. Yeah, he's 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 getting points scored against him, yeah. you know. He's got to start him out in his own offense exactly. here. And I think sometimes people forget that. They might not be hurting, but they're, they're gathering points, in the, the and the judges are yeah. seeing this. Oh, that was a big left But kick. you can see Griffin's looking to, to wade into that distance and land, land his hands. He landed left whenever uh, Crabtree was on the way in there. And just as we said, we can see the difference in power, right? Absolutely. He's looking to come over the top with that straight left. He's just measuring that with that right hand and looking to snipe him. A pair of kicks from Griffin here. Beautiful high kick by Griffin Key. It was blocked by Caleb Crabtree, but that one had some power on it. Thus far in this round, it looks like Griffin is uh, keen to play the counter puncher. Crabtree just shoots, but from way too far away, it was telegraphed way too much. Yeah, it wasn't the best takedown attempts. He bailed on it right as he started going into it, because he knew it was just too far. He couldn't set that up. Another nice kick from Griffin Key there. And I believe that he's felt these power, and now he's thinking about getting it to the mat. 
I think you're right. This is definitely one of those classic things where one guy's landing more punches, but the other's causing more damage. Yes. Right. That was a good kick, as I said that though. Right? To the sternum as well. That might take a little wind out of key. And so we've kind of seen the rolls. Oh, wow. That was such a lazy spin back fist, though. It would have been very easy to counter that. Well, I think he, he started to go for the spinning back, but then he decided against it and turned he it into that kick. It. He faked the spinning back fist to go into that kick. But that's a high-risk move there. Yeah, absolutely. So they kind of they kind of reverse rolls there in the beginning. He, had, he almost didn't fully commit to that spinning back fist, mm -hmm. and the way he was doing it, his hand was so low. Yep. And you know the counter to that is a big over. Hand right. Yes, sir. If they catch you with your back turned there, you're going to sleep. Once again, it's another tough round to judge. I don't know which way you guys have it. That's what I was going to say. It was like they kind of flip flop there. You know, yeah. you had uh, Caleb was on the offense, back and Griffin down, and then towards the end, it was the opposite of the way around. So that one will be very interesting to see how it gets scored should it go the distance. You wonder where's the momentum of the fight out? So I think it's with Key right now. I think as the round went along, Key started having more and more success. And I could tell that Crabtree started getting uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. That's why he went for that lazy shot. I agree. I agree. He's still coming out soft, Paul. A little bit more aggressive this round, meaning Griffin. I think he's gotten comfortable now. He's read this guy. Yep. Yeah. Oh, oh man, nice left hand. I kick. Definitely looking to set up that high kick. He just got mm -hmm. a little too high with it. Crabtree ducked under. You can Boom. tell that Griffin Key is uh, feeling it now. He he thinks he's Griffin, much. Yeah, he has, he has no respect for the power. Right? No. So he's just walking in. There. I'll tell you yeah. who he's reminding me of. Not it, He doesn't look like him stylistically, but Pocock. That's yes. what he would throw. That mm -hmm. straight left high kick. Straight yeah. left high kick. You would rarely see Pocock throw a jab. You'd rarely see him throw his left hand. It's that straight left. High kick. He's almost just using the uh, the right and kind of to pull out there and get his range. To deal with that, Crabtree needs to start circling to that left side, that weaker side, and landing his own straight right. Yeah, plus, when you're you're doing orthodox first uh, southpaw, I mean, really, whose foot's on the outside is going to win the take battle? Take a look at the body of Key, though. Oh. There's a lot of redness there from those kicks of yeah. Crabtree. And that's a real huge tool for a guy when you're fighting a southpaw. And you can see it on his knee there. There it is. And there's a the perfect, perfect timing on that one. Beautiful. He wraps up the legs. And he's going to tip. The reason he caught him there was he had key in striking mode. And then he went for it. And the yeah. difference in strength there, he just literally picked him up and put him in his half guard like it was nothing. And now he's settled into that full guard. And he's not being smart. He's settling into rubber guard. Yeah, this is something that's not going to get that. you. It's not going to get you off your back. Right now, you need to he's make. He's got space. the left arm though. He's if he. I don't know how good his jiu-jitsu is, but he does have the left arm on that side. Yeah. He's getting mad right now. Oh, that's mistake. what he needed. Make space. Get. Oh, man. what a spin! He walks away at the end of the round. Wow. What a way to close the round. Side kick from Griffin Key as they're getting up. And look there at Crabtree. I believe that hurt him. Hurt him, but it was a really bad decision to, to give him space there and let him. Yeah, I, I was going to say he let him up. It's one of those things you protect yourself at all times. Uh -huh. Any moment can be your last. So, guys, what do you think going into this third round? Who needs to, who needs to step on the gas? I'm going to call it a 1-1 one, one draw. Um, I think Crabtree needs to get him on his back. I again. agree. I think he needs to time that and do the same thing with the other round. Minus for letting him up. Part. Oh, yeah. That, wow. that landed flush wow. on the jaw. Wow. Very flush. Very lucky that it was the very last second of the round. Absolutely. He did pop back up, but you got to wonder how hurt was he. He looked hurt there when he was standing there. But he's, he's got time to recover. Let's just see how much he can recover. Shake off the top. Once again, guys, we have another great fight that's coming down to the wire here. Um, great matchups tonight. Yeah. And he asked to touch gloves. Well, that and he says hurt, no. Yeah, he looks a little weary. That was a nice kick up the middle. Well, how, I can't how, much, how much can you recover in 30 seconds? Oh, nice uppercut. And I actually saw... Look at that. Oh, hey, that knee to the body, knee to the body hurt key yeah, there. Definitely. And the fist right up against us here. And let's see if Crabtree can keep him here. 
and make something happen with it. This is what Crabtree needs to do. It's a solid clinch. He needs to start getting lower on the hips. He's doing a great job head fighting. Yeah. He's got his head right up against Griffin's chin. That makes it hard for Griffin to do anything. Now Griffin's hunting for that guillotine guy. That if nothing else, this guillotine's just going to get him out of that position. I don't he know if he'll finish it. Or men. He's, he switched it to a short choke. He might have it here. I don't know. I don't know if his he's not got his hands back together. To, yeah, it looks like he's trying to escort his hands. I don't know. He might have that chain grip. Oh, oh, he's in trouble. He's got him. Oh man. He's he a slight slip he's, up there. Yeah, I think he's fine. He's fighting the hands now. He's yeah. all right. You see, he's got and that left hand peeling his grip off like he should. I think he's going to survive this mission, but he's losing the round. Yeah, absolutely. Mm -hmm. And he has to think about this quickly. There's 40 seconds left. He doesn't change this around he's the round. Got, he's got to get up. He needs to try to get up to his feet. Peel those hands off and make something happen. Yeah. It looks like he has it. Nope. He's, got, he's not got his hands to No, he doesn't. And whenever he yeah. there it is. That's what he needed. And now Caleb's inside control. Ladies and gentlemen, Just Caleb. doesn't have enough time to work for 20 seconds. Another tough round to judge. Caleb Patrick clearly has a decent record. Yeah. And he's see. got pass over to now. He, and good job by Griffin Key catching that leg, moving it back to guard. And yeah. He's, yeah, so he's not going to make that mistake again and let him up. What a fantastic fight. Very competitive. It's going to go either way. Yeah, I would agree. Um, and honestly, this is the first one of the night, guys. Yeah. And even going to the decision, it was a very back and forth battle. So, Butch, how do you score that third? Because that third was just so bad. So, we would be judging just on position only. And you have to really give it the submission attempts, probably more credit, because he almost could finish the fight. There was a moment there where that guillotine looked tight. Yeah. yeah. I mean, truthfully, I don't think it was that close. But right. when he had the arm in, he was tired with that. If he would have jumped guard, he might have yes, been. I think so. But I think it's you really want to be careful about jumping guard up against. Three rounds, judge one scores red. Twenty-seven. Judge two scores red. Twenty-seven. Blue thirty. What? All three. And judge three. 28-29 for your winner by split decision, fighting out of the blue corner of the Both guys showing great sportsmanship here. Yeah, it's definitely a fight that could have went either way. A um, couple of the scorecards I didn't really understand. I don't think that you can score it 30-27 for either guy. Yeah.